Attacks targeting U.S. forces in Iraq will not stop until Washington withdraws all American troops from the country, Iran's former ambassador to Baghdad said on Monday. Speaking to Tiznim, an Iranian news agency affiliated with the country's Revolutionary Guards, Hassan Daniafar claimed Iraqis do not tolerate the presence of U.S. troops in their country. Daniafar, a Revolutionary Guards officer who served as an ambassador to Iraq from 2010 to 2017 said, if the Americans want to concentrate their troops more in the Kurdistan region and northern Iraq, they will be dealt with there as they have been dealt with in other parts of Iraq, because the Iraqi youth do not tolerate the presence of foreign troops in their country, so attacks on U.S. military bases will continue. Rocket attacks on U.S. bases? In Iraq have shown that you can trouble the Americans using basic equipment and weapons, he said. The U.S. has no choice but to withdraw its troops from Iraq, he added. Iranian-backed militias in Iraq, which demand the withdrawal of U.S. troops, have continuously targeted the U.S. embassy in Baghdad and its surrounding areas, as well as military bases hosting U.S. troops. Last week, a drone dropped explosives near U.S. forces stationed at Erbil Airport in northern Iraq, Kurdish officials said. On Sunday, at least five rockets hit the Iraqi military air base at Balad north of Baghdad on Sunday, Iraqi security officials said.